What's going on, NinBuzz viewers? How are you guys doing today? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Challenger Approaching. I'm your host, Abdallah, and let's take a look at the winner of last week's challenge. There were a couple of very close finishes, but the YouTuber that took the cake and raced the tightest was Go Done Man. All right, let's watch as he very smoothly takes each and every turn as close to the edge as he can, oftentimes almost hugging the wall in order to get that fastest time. All right, that's definitely a great strategy that's used in most racing games like F-Zero, even Mario Kart power sliding along the sides in order to get from uh, point A to point B in the fastest route possible. All right, so you'll notice that he's just kind of snaking on through here, um, not really doing any of those really tight turns, just making sure that he keeps his momentum all the way up and narrowly dodging all those little tornado spots. All right, so we're moving on to the third area right here. Now this one's a little bit tougher because that introduces all those little spikes on the ground. But he looks right past them as he drives way, 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 not even near it. All right, so dodging in between those, doing some tight turns to get those really tight ones there. It looks like he's memorized this map. All right, and moving on, and that is it. Get that last boost panel. Now for area four, I mean, it's pretty simple. As long as you hit all the boost panels and stay straight, you'll do it perfectly fine. And he does it very well. Go done, man, you rock. All right, so going on through, doing some barrel rolls. And there's just one more jump panel and he will make it towards the finish line. If you haven't seen his video response, click on the channel in the description and congratulate him on such an awesome run of the level. His final score was 25.47. That's about 0.45 seconds faster than mine. Awesome job. Let's move on to this week's challenge. All right, here we go. A lot of you guys were requesting this a while back. We're doing Kid Icarus Uprising for the Nintendo 3DS system. Now this game was awesome when it first came out. The QR codes, the idea that they brought Pit back. Um, they gave him another game besides being in the original Kid Icarus and Smash Bros. Brawl and everything. Uh, but, I mean, this adventure was very awesome. Let's just jump right into it. Uh, we're going to go into solo mode. I want you guys to go to move out. We're going to do chapter one, but with certain conditions. The certain conditions are you have to have a first blade and no powers. Now with this first blade, it has to be of the 100 value with no special abilities. You can attain one of these simply by restarting the game and starting all over. Okay, so let's move it on up to level seven intensity and let's jump right into it. Now, I think that the first blade is awesome. Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, because the first blade, it's like a gun. It's got some very awesome uh, charge-up shot. Uh, I got some very, very fast rapid-fire abilities. So, okay, so the point of this challenge right here is to be crippled by the first blade, have a pretty high intensity, and we're trying to see what the highest score we can get is. Um, now, you'll notice that if you're on level 7 intensity, it's going to be a little bit tougher. The enemies are going to be a lot more active. They're going to be throwing a lot more projectiles at you. So you want to make sure that you're kind of rotating and shooting at the same time. Because any one hit can definitely take about 15 to 20% of your uh, health bar. So watch out. Alright, shoot as many of these guys as you can without letting them get past you. Because if you let them get past, they're not coming back. And those are the points that you're going to miss. And you do Alright, I love the graphics on this thing. It is so awesome. Let me know if you guys have actually played this game all the way through in the past. Alright, I'm just getting pummeled here by those uh, little mono eyes, I think that's what they're called. Alright, so you want to make sure that you use your charge up shots as best as you can, because those can pretty much kill those mono eyes in, in one hit or so. All right, so kill these guys here. Yeah. The power of flight is my gift to you. And then in case you got pummeled earlier, um, there's some health units that'll be coming up really soon, and you'll be able to help recover your health a little bit. All right, there we go. Crack that guy open, and you will be all set. I'd be finished. Now you'll get the happy trigger, which allows you to use charge up shots immediately, so you don't even have to charge. Now this you want to take advantage of as best as you can because there's a lot of enemies coming over here and literally try to give them like one charge up shot apiece so that you get every single one of them. How are things looking to you? 
You can adjust the feeling of depth using the 3D slider on the right. Yeah, I remember playing this game in 3D when it first came out. It was so great. Man, just the visuals were so stunning. The gameplay was amazing. Now they're attacking the town? This isn't right! And just like the variety of all the different weapons in the game was very awesome. Like the claws and the bowl arm and and the laser beam, uh, like the laser staff, I remember that, that one, that was my favorite one. Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below of what your favorite parts were, uh, were of Kid Icarus Uprising. I think the online mode was pretty smooth, um, although it was very unbalanced. I didn't really like playing it because it wasn't balanced at all. The more time you put into the game, the better items you got, so. Anyway, so that was the air portion of it. Now we're going to go on the ground. Uh, for those of you guys who haven't played this, um, you notice that each of the levels is kind of broken up into two parts. You get a flying section and you get a ground section. So right now, we're going to go forward. I'm going to eat some cake and a cheeseburger. And we're going to move onward. Now these little snakes, they're pretty easy to kill. Just make sure that you're hitting them and not getting any damage on you. I'm on it. Uh, if you turn around over here, there's a couple. There's three mono eyes that'll just start destroying you if you're not very careful. So just make quick use out of them. Get your score going. I'm at about like 21,000 right now. That's not bad. Now this guy over here, like literally I haven't played this game ever since it came out and, and I beat it the first time. So I'm like, what is this thing? How, how do I kill this stupid little thing here? And I'm like, oh wait, his hitbox is right on the ground. So if you just stand there and shoot it, it'll eventually die. But if you want to get the best score, you want to beat this level as fast as you can. Because I think at the end, they'll give you a, a bunch of multipliers and score bonuses based on, you know, how much time it took you and everything like that. Alright, so this pot over here um, spawns out a couple of those snakes. So I just toss one of the bombs that I picked up. And then if you just slash through this, you'll be able to get a couple points for that. Alright, last mono eye over here, and we are set. Okay, he ran away. Uh, there's really no point in picking up the extra weapons, um, because that'll disqualify you, and they don't give you any points, so. An Jump gate. into the intensity After gate, so we can get extra points over here. There's about three enemies. Um, there's those little flower things that shoot the laser beams, and then there's this huge tank. And right off the bat, I totally forgot how to actually kill the, the tank, but... I figured out that on the back of him is one little sweet spot where you have to aim for him. And any other shots at it don't do anything. And if I'm, I'm staring him straight down, he just knocks me right the heck out. Alright, so learn from my mistakes. Aim from the back. Keep your distance so you don't keep on getting hit. And you'll be able to knock this guy out in a couple seconds. I definitely wanted to show my first attempt at this whole uh, challenge here. Because I was, I was very excited when a lot of you guys were saying, you know, hey, do Kid Icarus Uprising somehow. Um, but, you know, I figured out, hey, the first level of the game, anyone can do it. Um, anyone can actually get this weapon, which is great. Um, and anyone can make a high score. So, for those of you who have the game, regardless of what kind of setup you have, if you have a capture card or um, if you have a camera, you know, just figure out a way to capture it and put it online. Because I want to see some video responses with what scores you guys had. Anyway, lu luckily for me, I didn't get killed right there. Um, I grabbed the foods and, yeah, just ran the heck out. Even though my health isn't all the way at full, and I know that if we were actually playing the game in one-player mode, you know, we'd have a whole bunch of powers, like maybe health recovery or, you know, some sort of armor or something. All right, so keep going forward. Watch out for those little frog-looking things because they'll just jump right on top of you if you're not careful. Be sure you use your dash shots and your um, constant fire to make sure that uh, you kill them in a pretty fast time. All right, looks like we are just about there. There's one more of these pots that spawn those little snakes out. So you want to destroy that pot for an extra, extra couple of points. Don't want to forget that. I was thinking that, okay, maybe this challenge would be broken because the snakes would come out never-ending and you can just get a never-ending high score. But that wasn't the case, luckily. All right, now in this chest, I kind of lucked out because I got Happy Trigger, uh, which allows me to do charge-up shots really quickly. So I'm not sure if that's pre-programmed in the level or if um, that's supposed to take place of another weapon, but I kind of lucked out there. Hopefully you guys will have the same luck when you guys are trying it. But I'm just, like, destroying this thing with charge-up shots. 
All right, watch out for that huge bowling ball that came out of nowhere, and we are just going up the final flight of stairs. There's about three enemies left. There's a skull guy coming right at you, and two of those um, like flowery things in the air. Forgive me for not knowing their names. I'm pretty sure they, they do have names, and most likely one of you guys in the comment section will name them. Um, kudos to you guys if you do. All right, we're destroying this guy up with our sword. Close melee combat. All right, finish the last guy. Get the vial in order to fill up all your health and get ready for the boss of the level. Now, this is one of the shorter levels in the game. Hence, it's the first level of the game. All right, Twin Bellows. Looks like Cerberus. All right, so Twin Bellows. This guy's got a lot of health. And he, his no movements are very quick and erratic. So it's kind of a tutorial where Palutena uh, on the bottom screen is kind of teaching you how to beat him. You know, make sure, making sure you're strafing, dodging out of the way. Um, there you go. Yeah, she's teaching you exactly how to do that. So do the best you can and, and try to avoid his hits. I mean, I know he does a flamethrower attack, which is pretty super effective against uh, hit there. <laughs> See, I got burnt a little bit. Um, he does a flamethrower attack right there, um, and then he does some crazy charges. He does like a set of charges where he comes right at you. And then he does uh, like a, a slash attack as well. It's a critical hit on that. High critical hit ratio, <laughs> just like in Pokemon. All right, so you just got to keep on going at it. Like this charge attack is really annoying because it comes right at you and it's very hard to dodge. So you want to try to dodge, you want to sidestep out of the way. But I'm just getting owned right here. And any opportunity for me to slice at him, I'm just going to go for it. Like regardless of how flashing low my health is. But I know that one of you guys out there is going to be able to do this entire challenge, get the high score without taking any damage. I know you guys are that hardcore, so... Anyway, I'm on my last leg over here. I'm not thinking I'm going to make it. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I throw one more charge shot, and he is finished. Victory is mine. Excellent job, Pit. 115,880. What score can you guys get? Be sure to submit a video response, and if you don't have the game, participate in the comments section and suggest my next challenge. If you haven't already, subscribe to NinBuzz and follow them on Twitter in order to be up to date with the latest NinBuzz videos. On last week's video, we hit 273 likes. Awesome job. Let's see if we can get 300 this time. I know you guys can do it. Speaking of challenges, swing on by my channel where I'm going through each of the gold medals in new Super Mario Bros. Use challenge mode. Subscribe and join the Abdala Nation. And for now, you guys have been challenged.